Hello and welcome to Business Insider with Mario Taniguzzi on YYC Business brought to you by Megapix Media. Joining me today is Anne-Marie Lurie, who is Chief Economist with the Calgary Real Estate Board. Thanks uh, for joining us again, Anne-Marie. Thanks for having me. Let's talk uh, about a report that uh, uh, Kreb put out uh, just the other day uh, on the quarterly statistics on the Q3 stats for the Calgary resale housing market. Let's start talking about sales. Sales were eased a little bit, uh, you know, uh, in the quarter compared to the previous quarters, uh, but still the best Q3 since 2014. Tell me what's happening uh, in terms of the activity and transactions in the market right now, or in, in Q3, I mean. Um, well, we, we continue to see really strong sales activity. I mean, to see a, a slide from Q3 from Q2, that's really not um, unexpected. I mean, we know that the second quarter tends to be our strongest level of activity. Yeah. Um, but what I, and I mean, sales are still strong, but what I think that we're seeing is that there's not necessarily um, enough supply there. Um, and that's to be somewhat limiting some of the demand growth in the market. Um, because what we're seeing is that, you know, as new listings are coming on and, and, and more product is becoming available, we're seeing sales are still remaining relatively strong. So it's not, um, you know, it, it's been one of those factors that could be limiting some of the demand growth in the market at the moment is just a supply choice. So tell me just a little bit about that demand. Why are, uh, has that demand been so strong and been so strong really for the past uh, past year, basically? Um, which really goes really well with how when interest rates became really low. So um, obviously when rates are very low, that really does encourage demand. And I think what we've also seen is for people who weren't impacted by the, um, the pandemic, um, at least their incomes weren't, um, you know, their yeah. savings actually increased. And, and so I think we're seeing a lot of that translate into the housing market in terms of overall demand as, um, you know, people are taking some of that, um, the low rate environment and their excess savings and they're applying it into housing. So I think that is something that we're seeing. Um, we're seeing greater demand for homes, um, mostly in the detached properties for sure. Um, but also areas not just within the city, but outside of the city limits, which typically are either more affordable or offer more space. Mm -hmm. So why do you think, uh, you know, uh, we're having this uh, uh, issue with the inventory? Um, you know, it's, it, it is an issue that, uh, you know, I've talked to a lot of the sort of national real estate experts, and then it's something that's across the board, you know, across the country as an issue. Why don't we have enough listings? Like, uh, what is preventing people from selling their homes? Well, it's kind of interesting in our case, because it's not that we don't have supply per se. It's just the demand has far outpaced it. Okay. So we actually are seeing more listings on the market this year than we had last year. So there are more people that are listing their homes, but that pace of growth and demand has just been much faster. Like, so they just can't keep up to it. Um, which is a little different. Like even if we look at our supply levels, supply levels are down over last year. Um, so like if we think about overall supply, what's left in the market, it is a lot lower um, than what we had last year. But on historical levels, it's not uh, it's not at historical lows by any means. Um, yeah. It's just it's just there's more people buying than what can come onto the market. And I think it'll be interesting as we move forward to see if some of that lever ends up coming from the new home industry as well. Um, where we have seen start start to improve um, yeah. and, and and offering some alternative choice in the market. Okay, let's talk prices. Everybody always loves to talk prices about them when it comes to real estate and their homes. So nine percent higher in Q3 uh, compared to twenty uh, twenties Q3. Um, why are the prices uh, gone up? Um, part of that has just been there hasn't been enough supply to meet that demand. So that is really um, a consistent thing that we've seen really since the start of the end of last year, right? So we started to see prices yeah. moving up because the supply just hasn't kept pace with the demand. Um, so we are 9% higher. We saw in quarterly moves in price as well. So they were still rising over the previous quarter. Um, but what we are starting to see is that pace of growth is starting to slow. Um, so we're not seeing that same upward push on prices, um, and we're, we are starting to see some at least stabilization occurring, um, but we're still higher than we were last year. 
Okay, super. Now you briefly mentioned uh, the uh, areas outside of Calgary. So the Airdries and Cochrane's and Okotoks of the world. What's happening in the market out in, in, in the periphery? Um, those conditions are even tighter than what we see in Calgary. So they have even less wow. supply based off the demand growth. And I think part of this stems from the fact that most of this growth has been driven by the detached side of the market. That is the sector that is the tightest market conditions. It's where we're seeing the most demand um, and, and not necessarily the supply to match it. In those surrounding areas, um, you know, oftentimes, um, if they're not, like sometimes their, their features are very similar to what you get in Calgary, um, especially in markets like Airdrie, but they're much more affordable. So, yeah. so more people can get into those markets. Other aspects is some of them, they have larger homes or more space. Um, they might be priced similar to Calgary, but you know, they're offering more features. So, so that's coming into play. And a lot of it is just driven by the, um, just driven by detached activity. Okay. So we have a couple of months, uh, and a bit, uh, two months and two and a half months or so left in the year. What can we expect for the rest of the uh, uh, fourth quarter? Um, well, we would expect that as we move into the fourth quarter, it's traditionally slower levels of activity of sales act sales. So we do expect that those levels will remain strong relative to what we would see in a fourth quarter. Um, but, you know, obviously slower from the paces that we've had over the previous um, few quarters. But, um, you know, we also expect that, you know, we should start to see things continue to push towards more balanced conditions. I mean, the market still favors the seller. Um, you know, we did see some, some shifts up from that. So not as tight as the conditions in the spring. Um, yeah. I think we all expect it to continue to see that as we move into the fourth quarter. Um, but still um, relatively tight conditions. Okay, super. Well, thanks uh, very much, uh, Anne-Marie, for joining us again. Thank you. All right, that was Anne-Marie Lurie, Chief Economist with the Calgary Real Estate Board. This has been Business Insider with Mario Toniguzzi on YYC Business, brought to you by Megapix Media. Thanks for joining us.